When it comes time to choose a product to fight against Varroa mite, it can be complicated. Today we will do a little test to try to know Formic Pro a little bit better, a formic acid-based product approved for the treatment of Varroa mite in the honeybee. Hi, my name is Patrick Nadeau from Artisan de la Ruche. Today we will put Formic Pro to the test. Of course, it's not a scientific test, it's just a little test we did to know this product a little bit better and we decided to share our results with you. Okay, let's start with a brief presentation of the product. What is Formic Pro? Formic Pro are 42.25% Formic Acid strips. This product has been approved in January 2019 in Canada. So, this is the first season we can use it in our beehives. The label mentions that Formic Pro causes mortality to both male and female Varroa under the brood cap, as well as the Varroas on adult bees. There are two treatment options. Option 1. Place two strips for 14 days. Option 2. Place one strip for 10 days, remove and replace it with a second strip for an additional 10 days. In our test, all colonies were treated according to option 1, so each colony received two strips for 14 days. Before going further, a very important information. Always read the label of the product you are using carefully. In this video, we use product information as homologated here in Canada. There may be variations depending on where you live. So, trust your specific label. So we are ready to continue and present the test we have done. There are five steps to this presentation. Step 1. The choice of apiary. Step 2. Pre-treatment screening. Step 3. The treatment. Step 4. Post-treatment screening. And the step 5. Results analysis. Step 1. The choice of apiary. In fact, we chose the test apiary according to the following criteria. It was our first experience with Formic Pro. We wanted to test on a small number of colonies. We chose a small apiary of 7 colonies. Shooting a video is not always easy, so we wanted an accessible place. And we knew that there was a very infested colony in this apiary, so we wanted to really put this product to the test. Step 2. Pre-treatment screening. In our colonies, we do the Verboa screening test with sticky cardboard that we placed in bottom board's drawers. They are left there for 48 hours and we go back to pick up them. We count the number of Verboa mites that fell on it and divide this number by 2 to know the daily mite drop. So, we know the number of Varroa fallen on average per day. In our case, the sticky cardboards were placed on August 17th at 3 p.m. and they were removed and read on August 19th at 3 p.m. Here are the results of daily mite drop per hive for pre-treatment screening. For hive A, we have a result of one Varroa per day. Hive B. We have a result of seven Varroas per day. Hive C. We have 20 Varroas per day. Hive D. We have a result of nine Varroas per day. For the hive E, we have a big 135 Varroas per day. This is huge. Hive F, we have 5.5 Varroas per day. And finally, for the hive G, we have a daily mite drop count of 6 Varroas. Step 3. The treatment. Here 
is what a pack of two doses Formic Pro treatment looks like. The bag opens easily from the top, like this. Inside, we will find the information sheet and two individually wrapped treatments. When you open a sachet, be careful to not touch the acid formic strips inside of it with your scissors. So inside you have two strips, and this represents a single treatment. The treatment is always done directly on the frames of your first brood box. You can gently clear the bees with a little smoke if you need. And after, the two strips are placed like this, above the frames. Once done, you can close the hive normally, let the bees rest a little, the strips are left in place for 14 days. Step 4. Post-treatment screening. This screening is done exactly in the same way as described in step 2. For hive A, we have zero varroa in our post-treatment screening. It means that we have a reduction of 100% of daily mite drop. For hive B, it's the same thing. We have zero varroa in our post-screening test. It means that we have a 100% reduction of daily mite drop. In Hive C, we have four varroas in our post-treatment screening test. It means that we have a reduction of 80% of daily mite drop. In Hive D, we have two varroas. It gives a reduction of 78%. We started very far with 135 varroas in hive E. Now we have 42 varroas and it gives a reduction of daily mite drop of 69%. In hive F, we have zero varroa in our post-treatment screening. It gives a 100% reduction of daily mite drop. For hive G, it's the same story. We have zero varroa and it gives a reduction of 100% of daily mite drop. Step 5. Results analysis. A decrease in daily mite drop was observed in all of our seven colonies tested. As mentioned before, this is not a scientific test and this is not a sponsored video. But overall, Formic Pro seems to work well. Now we will use it on a larger scale in our colonies and see if Varroa can be well controlled with this product in the long run. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you have any comment or questions, you can write us here down below. And subscribe to our channel. We have a very nice project for the next season. And you can click the little bell if you want to receive all notifications from Artisan de la Ruche. Wish you a very nice end of season and we see you next time. Thank you.